Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Turkey attaches great importance to the two main goals of this unique program, namely the expression of the political solidarity within their lines. Turkey, where East meets West, Europe borders Asia, a nation self-sufficient in producing food for its peoples, but with the production of foodstuffs comes a problem, the control of molds that produce mycotoxins detrimental to human and animal health. East of the Bosphorus, by the shores of the Sea of Marmara, is to be found the Gebze Research Center. Here, a team is working on a program designed to identify and control the poisonous mycotoxins. The project manager is Dr. Artemis Kara Ali. Alongside my colleague, project director, Dr. Isan Alperden, we have been, for the last five years, researching the impact of molds and mycotoxins in Turkish food commodities. Mycotoxins are the toxic metabolites of certain molds which might invade agricultural products and are a threat to the welfare of all human and animal life. They can grow in almost all climates, provided that certain conditions of humidity and heat exist for such growth. Turkey is a large country and one which possesses very different climates. We also grow a wide range of different agricultural produce. So the first thing we had to do was divide the country up for research purposes into nine regions. The samples of food commodities bearing relevant ecological data are collected from all regions and the first thing our researchers do is analyze them for their molds. Our microbiologists isolate and identify the molds each sample contains. Over the five years we have accumulated about 9,000 molds and thus have established our own mold collection center. To ensure applicability of project findings, wide collaboration has been achieved among relevant Turkish research institutions, governmental organizations, and private industrial firms. This network is vital for extending to concerned bodies precautions to be taken to avoid mold and mycotoxin contamination at each stage of food production, starting from harvest through processing storage, transport, marketing, and consumption. We believe that the conclusions of this research project will have a serious impact on Turkey's economic future, on our industry, as well as on the health of our people. Turkey hopes that the Science for Stability program will be allowed to continue to highlight the third dimension of our mainly defense-oriented alliance.